All right, let's give this a go. Hello, friends. Uh, this is the very first time I'm doing Twitch streaming. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Um, I'll be looking at chat. Uh, obviously, won't be typing in unless I absolutely need to, but uh, I can see you. And I know you can't see me. I have one camera, and I really like the, to, to keep it uh, looking at what's going on. But that means you don't see my face unless I awkwardly try to reach over. Maybe I'll do that later. Uh, that said, uh, so this is uh, NASA Apollo 11 Lunar Lander, and we're going to build it today. We'll see how long it takes. I'm going to take my time. This ain't no speed run. Um, yeah, it's going to be very chill. And uh, yeah, so let's get at it with cutting this open. Um, I think the thing you should know about me when I build Legos is that I will take each bag at a time and knoll them. So all the pieces in a nice layout. I will even take photos and post them. Because uh, people really seem to like that. And I am very happy to oblige. So this has a lot of stuff. It's a lot of the air, too. Out there. Uh, all right. This box. All right. Let's organize the boxes and bins a bit. One, two. One, four, 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 four manual stickers. So it looks like this is going to be a four act play today. Let's no, I was this one. All right, so one. To figure out the edges of the screen. This is only one, two. Oh, okay. Why? Uh, huh? Uh, uh, and four, four, six, oh, let's do that. On the new All right. Ah, I did this towards the camera. A little bit more difficult. Oh, geez. So much in a rush. I forgot to turn on the overhead light. A little bit shiny, but a little bit brighter for you. Um, by the way, if there's anyone actually watching, how am I sounding? Because uh, I don't know. Because this is all going from a webcam. I am now going to start taking pictures of... The set. Oh, and I just realized I should include contents. Uh, let's uh, arrangement. Yeah, let's see. I have the manual off camera, but if I take a picture. of this whole set. We'll edit accordingly. Okay. Good, good.
Okay. First image of layout there. So I'll be at various points both uh, tweeting and uh, Instagramming photos. So you can carry on from there. Because I suspect we're going to be at this for the whole day. Sweet. Gay engagement. All right. Now that said, let us take an open at, actually, let me put part four away, part three away, part two away, We're down to one. You can see me opening up these instructions. All right. Nice cut. Okay, so we got Mr. Manual, and then we got stickers. Oh, as I hit the camera, tripod. All right, put this off to the side for a moment, and manual time. So gonna put the manual off to the side and I won't labor into the intro. A lot of intro, but they also did full full uh full page and uh all, then various all the various uh languages so that's a few there. The here's the four act play stages and then start right at it. Now that said, I'm going to move this a little bit out of the way because we're we're going to start building. Yeah, I think this is. We're going to start ranging pieces, and that I think. You know, I'll just start with the obvious one, which I think I'll tear into. This is effort. Okay. Uh, I'm. See, I have a focus weirdness. I'm gonna put that there for now to keep that stable, but I'm gonna definitely move that a bit. So we got unique piece, unique piece, and all these sevens. Now, what is this? 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, 10, 16 by 2s. Black. Seven of them. Uh, now, what I try to do is keep the big pieces because they're easier to grasp more farther away from me. Um, so I'm probably going to be using these very soon. By the way, that's the completed project, if you couldn't have guessed by now. Um, do, do, do. And have those two big boys. Uh, this first part is definitely the, the stage, as it were, the, the bottom half. Oh, a bag in a bag. Ah. And the, the very key, uh, key piece, which, uh, if and when I screw up, I will have that available for me to unscrew myself up. All right. Well, that's lots of bits and bobs. And potential human. Okay. 
Where's my line? No line. There. Okay. Um, all these sounds, I don't know what. Oh, because they missed. Ah, follow. Thank you. This is all new to me. And just so you know, like, in front of me is my projector screen, which, but with amusing Twitch Studio beta because effort. Um, I'll get used to this at some point. Uh, and if you chat, I will remember to look at the chat and uh, say hello, answer questions, and all that. Thank you, Dragon Theater, for the love. I think that was a little late for me to respond back to, but I'm getting used to this. Okay. Now, I... Yeah, I'm going to put this spot tag, too. I'm doing all right. Not dead yet. That's what I like to say. Things always look up when you know you're not dead. <laughs> no, it's good to see you. Hope you're doing well. So yeah, uh, that's human piece. That's some legs for a human piece. All right. Ah, uh, title. The title. That's a special piece. Okay. Now I am gonna kind of just spread out, see what I'm when I'm working with here. Besides this little baggie of parts, this is going to be all of Act One. So I kind of just want to take a look and see where the like-minded pieces can go. Oh, that's weird. Include the seven, and then include more of the same. And they aren't different. So that one's... Oh. But I try to, try to keep the like things together but also anticipate um, what kind of the flow is. So um, that way for me, it's easier for me to look out and go, um, oh, okay, I need this piece, I can plop it. And I know it's like there's the time of setting this arrangement up, but I am in no no rush whatsoever, because where are we going to go? Uh, and here we are in this current. Okay, more of these. Uh, they look to be uh, um, a little bit smaller than those. That's fine. So this year I have built... Another Lego set, which I which I post, I did photos of. I didn't do the streaming yet. Um, of the San Francisco uh, skyline, um, which was updated to have Salesforce Tower, so it's very tall. And I think I, I may bring it on stream uh, a little later today uh, for you all to look at. That was a good kit. Um, all of these. Okay. That. Oh, hey, Max. Two. Yeah, it's weird because, like, oh no, I have an audience. I have to, like, make sound decisions because everyone's going to view my mistakes and this will this will end up in the VODs forever and ever. And then I also need to realize I did, did this just to share chill time, so I shouldn't be as worried. All right. Needless to say, a lot of flat pieces. Yeah, with this base, a lot of a lot of presentational flat pieces. 
because uh, ultimately, it, I mean, it has to get that uh, lunar rocky uh, look to it, but there's, a, there's very few contact points to begin with on the stage, so it's going to be a lot more flat pieces, like the, these straight, smooth flat pieces. Uh, okay, I think start building up those that okay let's do no, let's do these these oh they're shorter hmm. um yeah let's do those no yeah i'm indecisive um no, that doesn't even out this. Okay. These here, because they some flow and fit. Ah, uh, dark range. Okay, and then. Put these four. I'll put now that I got enough on screen. I don't think I need to have something in front. I'm trying to avoid that the womp 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 of the focus autofocus. Uh right. Yes, an idea. But their colored pieces look like. Oh, a lot of things. I confess I don't have music playing because I don't know the particulars which streaming, and I'd rather not have my first go get muted. <laughs> right off the bat. Um, okay, we got these four two blacks. And then ah, uh, there I go again. I need to kind of tightened up on this side of the table here. Don't exactly have enough clearance. Not accident, keep accidentally hitting the tripod. All right. Wait, why? What are these solid? What? Three, eight, five ones. Lot. These eight by ones. Right up there. And a little bit off. Filter, but okay. Uh, I know I'm being so particular and special about these placements, but you know I like to have a nice, pretty presentation. And with the San Francisco build, when I posted the photos of, of me knolling these pieces, they, they were very well received. So I, I am here. Yeah, I'm putting these back. Yeah, that'll be fine. Not the easiest to breach, but I'll live. He'll live. We're all good. 
Okay. And then we have those. Oh, yeah. Special. Okay. Um, let's get placed. There. Oh, my light gray. That bag. Out. All right, those are there. Now these dark grays. Oh yeah, they do go away after 14 days. I, I also uh, hope I can get the setup of the export to YouTube right. All of this is new to me. Yeah, I should get reading it. Yeah gather um yeah maybe i'll pop something in soon when i get these this set uh together okay here let's try these here A little. Okay. And yeah, it's just going to be. Let's do all these. Four, looks like four twos. Yeah, they're four twos. I don't know, like, all the particular vernacular of uh Lego pieces I just off by one. Oh no. Um yeah, we'll just it'll be fine. Um I just you know like to me there's like three of a one there's probably a very fancier name of why you know that little bend but you know uh, I'm I'm just here to chill. I enjoy building Legos. Uh, it is definitely a calming, soothing, soothing the activity. But I also uh, don't really, I, I, I don't want to get into this trap of like just buying a bunch of Legos for the sake of Legos, and then I have no bloody clue where to put my Legos and all that. So I really tried to go with the, do I want this on display in, in my house uh, when it's done? And if that answer is not a resounding yes, then I'm not going to get that kit. Needless to say, there are some really good kits that I would like that are rather pricey. That I haven't pulled the trigger on. And as our sheltering in place time continues to grow, it's more and more tempting to buy those. But for now, the this kit um, I got directly from Lego.com. And it was a uh, hundred bucks. Uh, that's all. That's a helmet. Okay, and now all the little bit pieces. Lots of tiny pieces here, and they are mostly the same color except for these black roundy two by twos. 
course, there's five, so I can't keep it perfectly. We'll do that instead. And okay, not a uh, little bit. That's not. Oh, no, there's. Uh, I think that. I'll keep these a little more separated so I have room to actually pick up the little itty bitty pieces. Actually, yeah, that's. Very complicated piece. That's a, that's a big helmet piece. Let's see. Like, this is problem. I mean, it, it's what it should be, but this is probably one of the more exotically weird Lego pieces. At least that I've seen. That'll look good on the top down. That. Helmet. Visor. Now, uh, probably should time myself out of pure curiosity of how long it takes me to do these knolling parts. Of course, if I get the saved video working correctly and all that, that'll be very easy for me to determine anyway. All right. A lot of the, I'll call them two by one curves. And very, very Tetra CL blocks. Okay. I'm going to do turns here. Those are short. Those are shorter than those. Hopefully, this balance out balances out. Look. Oh no! Not again! I'm off by one because uh, I did five. 16. Mm. Mm. Ah, well. A little bit of variance. Followed by those guys. Or just do that. One, two, three. Oh good, oh good. And rock the L's. And then we'll finish up with all of these. I should really count ahead these pieces. Awkward things like this, but oh. Yeah, it's only five to begin or seven to begin with. Huh. That's kind of lame. Oh, well. I don't make the kits. Try to make them look pretty in a row. 
And everyone's satisfied with the layout. Once I get all these done, kind of take a look around some light rearrangements as needed. And I will take photos, put them up on the Insta and the Twitters. You get more than two followers. <laughs> oh no, I did it again. One off, off by one error. Off by one. Oh well. Nothing's completely perfect. Okay. All that this is act one. I know the view is not quite as great on the camera, hence me doing the photo. Uh Find that, that, that. I mean, I'm not going to bring out a ruler, you know, and be that precise. But no, I think this is looking good. Photo time. Yeah. Yeah. Stay on target. Oh, no, that, that edge won't do. That edge will not do. Yeah, I know. Here, here's me saying, oh, no, I won't be particular. I go ahead and be particular. Okay. More time. And... And go. And I have a shadow. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, that looks good. So, allow me to do the social medias and do both uh, Twitter and Insta. I am going to follow on the same thread. Uh, on my Twitter, just so that uh, things can uh, keep consistent. Oh man, just that's what the so I got this uh, um, tablecloth, cheapo tablecloth thing, because it's brown. This this table's dar a dark brown, and the pieces don't really, some of the pieces don't really pop, especially on the darker ones. So I decided, ah, I'll just get a cheapo tablecloth. Things will pop. It's easier for everybody. But the you may see on, when I, when I post the photo I'm doing now, uh, the there's a sort of tessellation that occurs at certain sizes uh, of the image. Uh, I guess it's gone. And then you expand it and it gets worse. Oh well. So I got part one null image uh, already in and I'm going to be nice and post that image in the chat. Oop. So you can take a look there. And with that, I'm going to actually start doing this build. Um, sorry, it's not going to be as detailed of a view um, building, but, you know, I'll try. You know, this isn't, you know, if I had unlimited resources and all that, we would have one overhead, we would have a camera on me, We'd have a specific spot overhead on the build area, but you know, this is a start. Okay, so uh, the first thing I want, they want me to do is build the dude. I don't know which astronaut this is. I don't think they really particularly named between the two, um, 
but yeah, it's this. This is probably the most simple part: legs, torso, head, Oop. and then inset of attach the gold-plated uh, visor and pop it on. We have an astronaut! Yay! All right, we'll put, put him off to the side. Now, step two. Okay, step two. One that looks like one of these bad boys. Then bring one that has less than two, which I believe is these bad boys. Yeah. Got that. Step three. Three, three by twos black. Two. These look like supports. There. And then the real trick is to find the middle. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Spaces between, that's good enough for me. All right, now I need another one of these gray pieces, which is only one this long, and then it's, yep, it's what you would think. Little port. And step five. Okay, it's going to be three X of what else? Are these bad boys. And it's going to be what one would think. There. Extension there. And the center. Okay, next, step six, these two, uh, one, the two, two, circle, two, of these, I think they're going to make these like very small lunar rocks, but you know, it could be wrong. Okay, now this image is going to be that. That. Then from there, I skip three, put in one of these. So one, two, three. And that's there. Then circle piece. Then there we go. To reinforce it's a little weak structure at the start, but I'm sure we will fix that very soon enough. Okay, step seven another gray piece and another 2x of these little droppers, one ones, special pieces, and okay, so it's not that complete there. And they want accent. From there. Then, oh, okay. They want three by threes. Pinch that out. I shall oblige. Okay, that was step eight on nine. Uh, last bit of that piece. And, oh, it goes one over. Yeah, it's interesting though, they're just like, let's cheat with a like straight piece and then let's cheat with a three, two, and then end on Step 10, 
the rest of the bracing. Get that properly cement in. Got it. Okay. So, if we're putting step 11, here's three parts to it. Okay, I'm going to put that off to the side. Uh, let's this side. Then we want all four of these squares. We want four, all four of the four by twos. We want both of these. Both surviving of these two. And the last four of these long boys. Last of these two. And rest. I'm going to leave this record. Uh, no. Okay. Okay. Okay, I need to take long this and give you on each side lock. Oop. And those match. Then pair up squares. Oh, right, two X. Okay, okay, okay. Then flip over these two. Doesn't matter either way. This and yep. A little bit offset between the two. And up. All right. You want me to do this again? Do it again. Uh, oh, no, no. Forgot pieces. Ha ha. Too quick. That was just step sub four of five. Um, want that balanced. Oh. Want. Uh oh. No. I threw it up kind of, but not completely. Okay. Start off, let's do this, this, and this. Boop. Boop. Then flip this way. Uh, I think, yeah, that's what I did it wrong. Then boop. And boop. Ah, okay, okay, that makes sense. That that makes much more sense. Then they want four circles there and opposite. They want three, two, I'm sorry, four, two, there and there. That makes much more sense. This little front definitely doing a lot more presentational staging. Want me to do it again? So we shall do it again. Boop. Boop. Center up. Thing for the four by whatever it is. Squares match up.
camino. Wrong thing, wrong one. Left on the outside. Not as long thing, one left on the outside. Accent. Accent. Boop. Boop. Okay. Got two of the same pieces. Bring this bad boy out again. From the looks of it, wants me to, yep, make it a complete square. That is our page. Especially this foundational thing, give it a good press. All right. On to step 12, and it is almost all of the, uh, yep, almost all of the basic flat, flat pieces, and it's all going on the edges, and I'm going to match positioning placement. The image shows me because um, since there is definitely, I mean, let's, this is definitely the next step. The uh, title is going to be presented on the stage. I don't want to screw that up and put it in the wrong place and everything's all off. So. If anyone's in the chat while I'm doing this, uh, what are your favorite Lego builds or Lego stories you want to share? Uh, feel free to type them out if you would like to share. All right, that's step what, 12. And then front is these, these, and these. End and finish it out. These pieces build center. Then we have lunar lander stage. Woohoo! That's step 13. Just to give you all a tighter view. That's what we're, that's our stage. Yeah, as you can see from the, the photo, um, the next step is very, probably going to do some rock surfacing and all that. We'll figure out where the contact points for the actual uh, lander is. Um, right, step 14. They want me to bring out two of these lovely square pieces. Two of these edged pieces. And three of these five. Now luckily in the in the images, now that we have this uniquely um this unique side i really have to make sure that how i'm putting these are arranged in the same way as the front because we do have a presentational front uh that i'm going to put a square around here i have a feeling that's where the pizza are going to go complement that oh no Ooh, there's more than okay there's weirdness go from all right, this sort of U piece with the naming on there. And a flat. Two, four, another flat two, four. 
And then the U kind of piece. I, I'll call it a, D, a U. Let's face it, that's what it looks like. It looks like a U on top. And then square. And then this flat piece, which makes sense. That being the front, they want to kind of cheat a little, give some play space out in the front, if you can see from the uh, uh, finished image. You know, there's some play space for the uh, astronauts and whatever front. Um, oh, there is one of these. Oh, no, I went ahead. Okay, step 15. One of these. This big piece. Three more flats. And two more of the U's. Okay. There on down again. Now we have two cards. Go. And big piece. Yeah. Big piece. So many different contact points. Have to try to find them to push them down on. Good. Uh, and then another U. That arrangement. Oh, way down. And then flat. Flat that kind of sticks out. Flat that goes offset. Then one long piece. Okay, that's step 15. All right, now they want me to use the last two of these. I'm going to bring in these straights and these two flats. Okay. All right, starting from this edge again. Lies that. That. And then, oh, okay, that's I'm going to do a, a straight line. Yeah. Then I'm going to do rectangle or by whatever. Right where all the contact points are. Take a drink. Remember to hydrate, everyone. Remember to hydrate. Great hydration. And next one goes in right after it. All those contact points. Then make fit straight piece. That is step sixteen. Um, yeah, especially this being a base, really want to make sure everything's locked down. You don't want to deal with this screwing up later on in the build. Okay. Big U piece. Three totally not Tetris L's. And a U. Okay. Lunar lander labels there. Making sure I don't mess this up. Okay, we take a U here. Some issue. Got it. Get me big U and it just goes flush. Yep. Trying to figure out places to push down. Good. Uh, this is already there, so then it's just the L's in a row in the same pattern. One, 
two, three. Got it. All right, that's step 17. And then I want all the rest of the totally not tetra cells. Then, okay, I'm going to go the opposite there. I think that's where the flag goes. There. There. And there. Nice little crisscross pattern here. All right, step 19, we're going to finish this first layer of bases with the last two square holes. Last two U's, and the last three flats. Okay, with that, um, yep. Always checking to make sure I get this right. That piece, going to do another U, which is mostly all of them. A lot of contact points there. And two release plants. Then a U. Then square. Then Sweet. That gives us more solid gray surface. Yeah, so this being the front, it's pretty obvious that the lander is definitely going to hit on those four contact points. Um, pretty sure this is because there's a the American flag is popped there. Um, I think this is just going to be texture. I don't know, we'll see how that goes. Okay. Step 20. Okay, we're going to take these four two twos. And yeah, I think it, I thought they were going to, uh, a few were just going to go land in there, but nope, they're just going to raise it up to the same level, but keep a different color. Alrighty, then they want two of these and three of these. Okay, this one's going to be make sure I don't screw up thing because they want these in a pattern. Basically, they want it like this, but very odd specific place. And make sure I count this correctly, and I think the easiest for me to do. Take this flat piece. I want it one off there. I want to make sure they have it there. So hopefully that's that. Does two, three, four, and then that. Okay. Okay, feel pretty confident about that one. Boy, if I'm wrong, whew, it's gonna be a gonna make itself known very, very painfully, especially since these are flats. Okay, then step twenty-two. Okay, I think. Okay, it's all of the curves in these slats. I'm just going to leave them there because it's a lot of pieces. Um, okay, first I'm going to do work the curves. And it looks like this is to make a circle presentation around each of the legs. Makes sense.
And last one. And the thing about this build is, I wonder, like, how easy it will be to take on and off the lander. Because the lander definitely stands alone outright. Uh, having this stage that we're building right now allows a much better presentational and grounding on it. But I'm curious, if, like, okay, you could pop it out and pop it back in again. Um, Okay, now we're going to do these weird, weirdly shaped pieces. This is a very, I don't think I can do a good job on the micro. But there, these little relaxed things. Uh, but they are going to frame this bad boy. I think it just, yep, just goes like that. Okay. Start getting the lunar crater shape. Oops. Okay. 23. Step 24. Ah, we're going to build out that crater a bit. So they want to start off with four of the long ones and four of the short ones. Goes long. You're going to be building this and this side. Long. Short. Long short. Then long. Short. Long. And short. And they're going to do it. We're going to do it again for the other two sides at a different step. Step 25. Start from here, which means a short, a long, short, a long. Start here again with a short. Long, a short, a long. Okay, that is step twenty-five. Step twenty-six. Fourteen of these things, which uh, okay, they give they give me one extra. And it's a bunch of random places. Okay. Um, start here. This is, let's see, that's one, and then that. Base out front there. Yeah, there we go. And that, and it wants to out. Get more of that rocks. Okay, so there. Uh, two pieces here. Step around. Get that there. That there. Put a little, a little itty bit of this. Not in a pattern. Be very careful not putting them in the wrong place. Okay, and it's going to be three units. Do this one to that one. That way. And Okay, one, um, click one, two, click there, print, Ooh. 
two more. Oh, ooh, I missed a step. But coverable. Two there. Okay. That way. Now, where I missed the step, I'm seeing those pieces are in. I totally. Ooh, got to do it a few steps ago. Ah. Um, I forgot to do these boats. These boats. One goes there. One goes, looks like, there. And I really have to be careful in calculating. One, two, go. My best guess, anyway. Okay. All right. Back to step 27 with these four pieces, and that's going to create the circumference around this moon crater. Got some good framing there. All right. And the last step is the flag, of which also includes the post. And these are spare pieces of this. And sticker time. Um, I got to, you know, when it comes to these things, I like to super clean a piece. Ooh. Come on, get your center and stop blurring. Okay. Um, I like to clean the piece off before applying the sticker because that's a good thing to do. So, very quickly, I'm going to grab some cleaner. I'm sure there are better cleaners out there, but effort. But I like to make sure get this nice and clean. Firmly be on there. Ride. Part very important. There. All right. So thirteen is right there. It wants. That. Now, if I was really fancy, I'd have a pair of tweezers to do this, but I'm not fancy. I am, though, going to take this out. Actually, I'm going to start from take the edge from the non gloss side. Do my best to tear it up evenly and go for it. Okay, that's all in. There's no bubbles in there, that's flat and good. And then putting out of the flag is put up part. And then plain. And there we go. This is part one, all complete. Uh, and I apologize for that autofocus blurring around. But yeah, so we got a very big moon crater. We got these supports in. Um, going to be interesting to see if these are actually anything or just cosmetic. Uh, and yeah, so I'm going to take a very small break. Um, take a photo of this, post it. But I'll be back in like five or so minutes. Um, and we will continue very shortly this build. So, see you soon.
Okay, we are back. Hope that break was good for all of you. It certainly was for me. So we have completed part one of four, which was basically the base. And at this point, we are going to push this off to the side <laughs> um, and get back, you know, return back to it later. Because part two and part three will be actually building the lander itself. So keep that off to the side. Hopefully that's enough room. I have two bags of two. And boy, does it not like me when I have nothing in the center. Um, so uh, let's start with knowing if I can just find Thanks. If probably could, yep, put it under the instruction. That's all right. So this, in particular, from the preview picture and the instructions, is going to be the base. Pretty much everything, uh, but the uh, uh, um, actual human storage module, as it were. Uh, in your bags. Bags upon bags. All right, let's get these big pieces out. Ooh, these nice red pieces. Um, oh, but you is back. Gee, wonder, wonder how custom to this kit this piece is. Ah, oh, sorry about the blurry, uh, Things there with the camera. One of these days I'll get it right. Anyway, first time out. Uh, yeah, let's get these bits placed. Okay. Yeah, that's good enough. We'll do that. Or use use. And I think I'm going to keep the use down in a row. There are those. See, so yeah, I decided to do this this streaming because, well, nice to have the appearance of sharing the activity with friends, even though you all should be. Staying home. Little boat pieces. Little boat. Um, I have to mention it helps me figure out how long it takes for me to do a kit. It's the recording will show me how long I did for each part. But I know that I am, there are more entertaining streamers out there, certainly more experienced ones, but I'm glad you're spending this time with me. Yeah. Spend a lot of Spending a lot of time doing this pre nulling But that was very well received the last time I did this. And I just, I did it and I would take a picture. You know, it was, it was just the pictures only. I figure having a video record would be neat in doing this. Ooh, that's a special. Now my risk of doing it like doing these in one per bag, I got a lot of these individual pieces and I can crowd up in an awkward way. So that's why I'm pushing all these pieces 
really towards the back. A lot of room for me to have in the front and go from there. There's a lot. And this time, you know what? I got nowhere to go. I'm going to ca actually count how many of these pieces. Actually, yeah, so it needs to be a lot of these two, three blacks are going to be the piece du of this act. Okay. I have mini nold. Okay. I think you is next. Keep them all in a straight row. Sheet a little bit to get that matching a bit. Alrighty, this one, three, five, six. Hey, it matches up. Huzzah. Okay. Then Smaller bits. Don't think they gave me the same amount. There. We'll see how this ends up. Hmm. Not quite even, but whatever. Hmm, actually, this. Not great, but. Is this the thing I should be worrying the most about? Absolutely not, but I don't care. <laughs> My show. Let's see what three says. Yeah, because that will match up. A little prettier. These are hard to align because they're very tiny and light. Okay. Um, I feel like I'm going to be grabbing that piece once. And actually, no, that is the start. This one. Oh, well, no, I got a place. Do that. Yeah, I should do it like that. These axles. These are definitely axles. May not be used quite as an axle on this lunar lander, but it is totally for axles. And 
that like that, balance with these, these, then these stoppers. I can get a lot of gray pieces. Uh, executive decision. Two, four, one, two, three, four. Okay. And this, I'll just probably go here for now. Adjust accordingly. Part two, bag two of four. Remember to hydrate. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to grab a plastic baggie. They go off mic. <laughs> so there you go, kids. I'll give you some spare pieces sometimes. For part one, I got these two spare pieces. I put them in the baggie. Seal them up. Don't lose them, just in case. Okay. All right. Lots of grays and some tans. And some whites are showing up. Hmm. Excuse me. Sorry, I regret placing these like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got a lot more black pieces, and these are e much easier to move. Oh. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to be very picky with those. I got us. one. Level boats. There's just one. Those will go nicely there. Ah, do, 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 do. Lots of what are these three ones? Yep, three or sorry, three twos. Oh, ooh. Different size. Supplies. Hey, okay. all of these three twos and one, two, four, and one, one, two, three, five, six, one. Yeah, just to be odd. Be on your toes. All right. These and all in this bag, all the tans have the exact same pieces. Gonna roll nicely. A lot of these grays. This is where the grays are getting built. I think I need to start soft sorting. Like Pieces. Nintendo oil blocks again. A lot of four by ones here. Gonna be a lot of steps on this. Uh, 
I also wonder how many, do this two or four times steps there is going to be. It did have the one do twice step building two pieces. But, uh, Bells. Ah, sound, bunch of Lego pieces, small Lego pieces. <laughs> All right, mini sort done. Uh, let me do these first. Much easier to grab longer pieces out in distance versus smaller pieces. Off by winner. No, uh, oh, okay. I have ten pieces. To five. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then I think I'll do the L's of L's. Okay, got four by four row. Owls. Oh yeah, that almost fit nicely. <laughs> okay. All right. Have to be particular. I assure you, I'm not usually this particular in presentation as far as the rest of my life is concerned. It's just something about Legos that, like, no, this is my thing. This is my thing. All right. Um, I think balance. Hmm. I don't like how this is ending up. Don't have a good alternative yet. Well, a lot of these little pieces, though. I yeah, will see. This is an interesting shape of a piece. To me. It's a, it's, you know, claw to capture something, but it's a different shape than normally. And let's see if I can show you. It's a little bit different than most. Oh, I almost got it. Here, if I stand up. There we go. You know, there's a different shape to it. Anyway, I haven't seen that before.
Okay, and then I have a lot of these levels. One fours. How many do I have? Five, one, two, three, five, and then two. Oh, okay. I'm going to do five to a row then. more I'll just balance that out there that's fine it's fine <laughs> okay and then oh you know what I don't know how I'm going to do the rest of the arrangement yet I'm just going to open up this next box this bag Okay, smaller and smaller pieces. Okay, we got two twos and that tan. A new color enters, blue. Okay. Yeah, now we're getting the little bit of unique pieces. Roll down bag sizes. Very small flat. Very unique one. Bags and claws. Which an assortment. Black LPs. That's the only one. Nope. There's two. And there's two of the flat curve. I have to confess that I didn't quite prepare all emission facts or something to kind of keep the engagement up a bit. Feel free to share some though in the chat. Yeah, like truthful ones, please. Ooh, unique pieces. Yeah, that's some almost technique pieces, technique like. Okay. Oh, rough arrangement there. Let me work on the black piece. We're gonna go. We're gonna go with first. Then there's only two L's going to be a little inconsistent, put in some variance. Then claws in. Do one with a side claw. Again. I, I don't know what the official terms are for these pieces. I'm 
I'm an amateur. So I recently check every so often the was it Lego creators? No, like the Lego ideas. And there someone has proposed a nooks cranny set that is absolutely what this Animal Crossing fan ordered. I really hope it becomes a thing. It is so nice. It's so, it, you know, it's the, uh, I guess I'll say the most advanced stage of Nook's Cranny. Um, you know, when they have their built out own store. I should have lined that better. That end of it. But yeah, hopefully that's smoother to get approved because Lego certainly has a, a working relationship already with Nintendo. That would be really neat. That's a set I would buy. I would like that on my shelf. All right. Uh, that. I'm worried I may not have room to actually work in. That's the one thing about doing this knolling is like, oh yeah, I also need room to actually build the thing. Fancy that. Six in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ditto. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think I'll break the chain there. Ooh. Eight piece, too. Okay, um, yeah, I think I'm going to open this up and then my final arrangement, figure what to do with these tans. Ah, oh, I hit the camera again. Ooh, cone. Ooh. Two by two with a two by one only on the top. Yep, this is definitely the small piece bag. Oh, ball joints. We're doing some ball joints as well today. Oh, a lot, a lot of different ball joints. Six, seven.
eight. Ha uh ha, -huh. all joints. That's it, it made pieces. Okay, with that, I am going to place these two here, round out that section, and start with these, four of them, and then Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Decision. Frame that. Do that. This fold over. Keep the center up a bit. Okay. Um, these are easy to pick up. Actually, I should move this bad boy down. Because this is my first go. It's the very first piece. Nope. Yeah. That way. Easier to pick up. Uh, hydration point. Okay, and then this. Eight pieces total. Four by two grid. that all uh, right let's let's actually finally do something with these tans okay so three rows of four These will be nice to pick up. Two, three, and Finish out with these two twos. All right. Well, I can just cut in with these. That's good. There are two, two ones. Change. Okay. All right. Just finish off with these blues. And then let's go with the red. Uh, um, let's do this. One, two, do the big old columns first, followed by these two ones with a cross piece. Okay. 
and do flat round round. I'm going to cut into white. These two, and then resets the pattern enough. I can go to the four columns with a hole in them. The these four two ones. Right. And then keep some consistency. Then it goes somewhat wild. That that this one 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 then two spokes here make it offset here good friend almost there all right he's totally not gold gold plugs i guess i don't know what you would call these they're not flattened See if I can cheat on screen. Look at this little staff in them. I haven't seen those before. Ah, stupid me. My foot hitting tripod. Ah, uh, this one's got one extra. Of course, it had to be extra. Unique extra piece had an extra one. We'll, we'll relive our buddy you with him. All right. More bulk, two types of bulk. Got ones that go into and they've got smoother gray ones. That's it. Then buttons. I guess it's yeah. I'll call these these pieces of cl the class as buttons. Seems good enough for them. Let's put the pistons. Along with the pipes. That seems right. And of course it's uh Okay good. No, that'll fit. Yeah, this has turned out to be a really good parts layout. I'm actually kind of worried it was going to be a little, bit, a little esoteric, but it seems we got this all in order. Satisfying order. Four is off by one. Cheat. Okay. I'm gonna move this off the side for the moment. Get these gray pistons in. Hopefully, I can fit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's going to be. Oh, yeah. I'm going to see if I can be a little bit. I need to. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I feel like this <laughs> this one's gonna have the extra piece. Right into the back. Yeah, that'll work. That will work. Explore the space. Oh, yeah. That's going to work out nicely. That. Better framing. Yeah. There we go. Successfully nulled. I'm going to adjust my camera a bit. Hurt. Ooh. I can adjust. Yep, graceful tripod. I God, I've had this tripod. Austin, that's two thousand two to three. So, been been through. It has covered a lot of miles. All right. Now it is time for me to take the photo and. Posted on the interwebs. Again, you can follow Twitter and the Insta to get the nice overheads. You know, I have my shadow in there, but effort. Actually, well, let's go give, give one more go. But less lighting. So I wonder if that's even better lighting. Mm. A bit more shadow, direct shadows there, but at least it doesn't have my hand. So I'll live. Uh, get your light back on. I think it's better for you. Actually, I think the white balance is working out. There we go. Okay. I'm going to post this. See if anyone else will join when I post. Then we will be well on our way to building part two. Weeder. Oop, oop. Good, autocomplete knows that it knows null is a word. Send tweet. Okay, doke. And with that, let's get to building. First piece, I will slid all that, all that down. <laughs> That's step one. Done. Hooray. <laughs> all right. Step two, as I do some rearrangement workspace. A little bit. Better arrangement here. You know, I have the instructions off cam, but that's not the interesting part, right? Water break. Okay. Ooh, right off the bat, we're going to start a bit. Okay. We are going to do, yeah, first right off the bat, six step sub steps times four. That's great. Okay. <laughs> oh, and we need all of these. Not the bat. Uh, I'm going to need uh, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
these. I'm going to need four one by twos. I'm going to need eight totally not Tetris L pieces. I'm going to need eight black pistons. That's all of them, too. Two, four. Yep. Six, eight. Uh, eight. Three, two ones with the pistons. Where did I put those? Right, or okay, dark green, right. Yeah, that's the downside of these knolling. I don't I intentionally don't look ahead of the instructions uh, and see like, oh, these are the pieces I'm going to use first, these are the pieces I'm going to use last, because I kind of want the more color layout approach. That said, there's sometimes like, oh, I have to grab from the middle. I can't just drag off the side. Uh, four black two by threes. Two, three, four. And then uh, all four of the squares. This, that, that, L's, pistons, buttons, and eight of those. Kind of whistle pieces. Kind of look like a whistle. But oh, the other way. Kind of look like a whistle. Okay. All that said, piece split. Take one of these three twos and it centers up onto one length, hits an edge on the other, flip, black piece towards me, make a one four on the second row. Then link with L's. Then like two whistles to finish off the sides. Then put in wall joints on the outside. Boop. Boop. Uh, then the two one ball joints lengthen that connection. And then looks like flourished with two buttons. Okay, so this is what that, this is step two, part two, uh, is one of the pieces. Gotta do it four more times. Shoot. Flip, keeping the black piece towards me. Four by one. Health links. Add the whistles. All joints. Two one ball joints. Then 
flourish with button. Two out of four. Da, 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 flip. Four by one. L. L. Whistles. Rod ball joints. Two one ball joints. Buttons. I feel like uh, I'm. Hamilton came out yesterday. My uh, costuming, uh, theater costuming friends are like, I have, there's a lot of buttons. None of them are functional. All of them are presentational. I feel like those are, well, I, I mean, they may have a function of smoothing out the end so it's not a snap. I feel like those are more presentational buttons. Whistles, whistles, ball joint rod, ball joint rod, do one ball joint, do one ball joint. I, think, I guess, no, oh yeah, I grabbed all of them. I have, uh, no, I'll keep that. So I have a feeling that one's, that one's the spare one. Okay. We got these four. <laughs> the step one. All right, so the rest of this step two is to place on each corner, like, oh, okay. There we go. With that, I need eight count of two by three blacks. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. And yeah, just those. These are going to be the support. Pieces I just put in. Working both as a support to attach the main centerpiece, but also the individual pieces from the previous step. All right. Cool. Uh, step four. The rest of the Totally Not Tetris L pieces. All down to the bottom. Aha. Uh -huh. And then four of the two by twos, only a two by one top. Actually, let's do that. Uh, and that. Okay, these are going to frame black pieces with that, that, then keep. Flat piece out. Second verse, same as the first. Oh, oh, no, no, oh, yep, this is the first time I slightly just screwed up. Uh, how do I work this? So I screwed up. I need to advance these by one. Oh man. Oh man. There we go. Oh my. Oh, there we go. Going the other way. God, this thing. This thing's a bloody godsend. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, what I did, I needed to have the flat flush with the buttons because that makes sense. And then 
the piece is flourishing there, weaving a line there. Ah, uh, yep. Well, kind of early. Only on the first these four steps. Otherwise, I'd be sad panda. And all right, that is step four with a little bit of delay. All right, four of these. They are go this cross. The way. Cool. Step five. Step six. Four count of one by four grays. One, two, three. Okay, and these are going to go on top the yeah, apples. We're going to keep that black line going. These are definitely supports for the L's. And to make this a 2x4, probably, very near. All right, step seven, rest. And weird alley, two by two, one by two. And they're just going to flank the rest, dangle out. Or, oh, yep, okay. All right, that's looking good. I need to check something quickly. All right. All that there. I am going to need two of the tan two by twos. And four of the black, yeah, these two by ones with a side claw, right? Yep. And uh, there's some building, sub building, very simple two claws on top of the pan. First, same as the first. Not these. They go. All right, which here. Not being completely symmetric. They go. Yep. They go like this with the claws on the side. Now things look unique. Now I gotta really be careful my orientation uh, on this piece. Uh, that said, step nine. Last two, the tan two twos. And two one twos, I think, are the grades. Sometimes it's a little hard to determine is it light gray or light gray or dark gray from the documentation. But I don't think I even have light gray one, two, don't. So, uh, sub build of just one of these going like that. First, same first. These go on here. Looks like from there is a support. And, yep. 
That matches up. All right. The big classic two, three ball or color Lego bricks. White go wash up against backing both sides. Map step 10 on to 11. Now we're going to focus our attention on these sides with painting two one by twos of dark gray, then two the two by ones in a tall. This is okay. These tall grays frame out there on the inside and just be there. And these are going to support, match up, give a little bit more paint. They, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's step 11. 12. Um, ah, the one straight brick with holes inside. They make a bridge right there. Easy step. Step 13. These blue pieces, blue circles, so two, two, and four of the black race things. Right? Yeah. They want me to do sub build sort of these two pieces together. Uh, I'm going to put that aside now because I want that in the center. I want some port bracing first. So goes flush, connect there and there. Give it some support. Same thing on the other side. Then. We have this. Sorry, I saw a network error. Like, oh god, am I off offline? No, I I think I'm good. All uh, right. Step fourteen. Eight. All the rest of these two ones on the tall be a lot of bracing. It's going to be here and here, here and here, and here. Yeah, a lot of supports, kind of connecting the two two different pieces. Same level and giving them some strength. Okay, take this long piece for step 15 and make a bridge. Contact points at the front and that one center. All right, that is step 15. Okay, a lot of sub build. Um, first let's shop the pieces, and I need all four, one, one, the cloth. I need all four of these pieces. I can't really think of a name for them. Uh, two of these bad boys. Uh, two of the one twos in dark gray. All four of the two ones with a post for yeah. Two of the handle pieces and. 
two three by twos. That'll be the last of three, three by two. Okay. All right. <laughs> Build the same thing twice. Start with this with working like that. Put in a three two. Pops out on the top. Flourish it with a handle. Take two, a two one with a post support. I don't know what to call these. Um, and dark gray two one. Put in one one claws outwards. Even enough. There's a little bit of give, but it's fine. And then click in. Post facing up. These two. Ooh. Do it again. This. Three, two, back. Handle on it. Post thing, two, one, dark gray, claw, claw, flexi bit. Okay, those two pieces are built. What's funny is that, all uh, right. So I'll, I'll do here where this goes. Okay. Yeah, facing the right way. They seem to just meet in the middle. Things of that. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Now, what's funny in the instructions is that there's literally a sign that says "click clack" to. I know it's a bit hard. Do that. Click clack. Click clack. <laughs> Same on the other side. Click clacks. Okay. That's looking good. Back to original position. All right. For all of the uh, these two ones that are rounded. Technical sub build of put, putting them back to a piece. Then one in there, right? One in there. There's an interesting piece, nice round edge. On to step. 18. I think we're making fuel. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Two of these. Just one on top of the other. I think this is going to be a loop twice thing. Um, two of those together. Two white columns on top of each other. Want the flat piece, yep, top, flip over the rounded piece there, give it a squeeze. Then they want, oh, uh, helps. You have to make sure, so these pieces have holes in them. Because then they go like this. Those are definitely fuel tanks. Um, because I'm about to do the same thing on the red. There. Flat. Flip. Rounded. 
Rounded goes on top and click. Okay. They want me to do this twice. Let's do it twice. Flat. Clip. Rounded. That's a tank. Let me need these two. Build. Build. Then for the red tank. And click the click. Those are there. Where do they go? They go. Make sure I do this right and alignment wise. I'm going to assume, yeah, they go there. Wait, I'm, I'm red there. Okay. Ah, info from the instruction. The lunar lander carried both fuel and oxidizer to ignite the hypergolic fuels since it was not possible to use fuel without an oxidizer in space because you need oxygen to burn things. So yeah, fuel oxidizer. Okay, step 22. Another, do this thing twice. Whatever this thing is. Um, oh, okay. So, you count a 4 by 2. One big. Oh, step 22 is this. Three is this. Step 24 is a 1 by 4. Right up against it. Step twenty five, two of the four by two, and two of the interesting log pieces. These two four twos go one there. The interesting clause. There. Ah, the boats. Step 26. One of these. Oops. And one of these. Bigger boat goes there. Smaller boat there. One, two by four. One, four by two. Four by two placed in boat. One by four placed in smaller boat. Uh, ah. Oh, these bat, these weird gold things go go inside with two black buttons. Both rest on top of each other, and then the outside those claws, and. One of the teethy claw, uh, and two these straights goes full support, full support. Ah, the button, that weird gold button shape, slides right on top of what is a I uh, can't really make it out very well, but it has a cross in that center. So it goes, just fits right on in. And then, let the claw go there. All right. Take two, one, twos. One. Six by two. That goes two. Closes the boat. Two ones. Two 
Oh, oh, it's a little wobbly. But that's apparently ended. It's only going on one thingy. All right. Another three two. That extends off the small boat. Two three two flats. And hey, our use are in play. Step thirty-two. Which round? You. What's all that? The flats. Finish. Bottom part. Okay. Do the gray pistons. And. Additional. In and additional. Then two of these reds go into those rotationals. And that is one of two. We get to do recreate this piece all over again. So it's a you know black card. Okay, second verse, same as the first. Two, uh, oh, two four by twos. And stuck. One rectangular place. One four by one. Place. Two weird claws and a two on by one. Two four by ones. Back the four by ones. Place the four by ones. Move the claws over. Then small boat, big boat. Small boat in, put the big boat in. Uh, one of these, one, four one, four one goes in the boat, Oops, four two goes in the boat, four one goes in the smaller boat. All right, two of the gold buttons, two of the black buttons, back. Place there. One tooth claw. Two rounded. Actually, technically five ones. Well, oop. Step thirty. Times two is uh, last of the these two ones. A yep, a six by one. Six by uh, sorry, six by two. The six by two closes the boat. Two ones center up. Weird way. Um. Oh, I need another two by six to flatten out there and extend out from the small boat. Two and two, three twos that are flat. Put that in, flattens out this end. Ball bearing. Click. Click. Then last all two ones.
I should make sure. Probably how they need to be. And that's that. Go. With that, I in here somehow. <laughs> Uh, okay. These out rotate there. And I totally did it the wrong way. Ugh. Oh no. No. I put it on upside down. There we go. Um, Everything as a whole. Okay. And that piece back in. It needs to be up this because the toothy claw needs to be up, which means I put those in reverse. Okay. There. There. This is a little bit odd because it's like on these joints. They do move up now. Okay. Same thing. No, oh, I did have the pieces right on this one. And goes in. Good rotational. All right, and that's step thirty-five. Oh. We're looking at big, big speakers on the side. <laughs> All right. Step 36. Start off with two four by twos. Start off. Rectangle, left, one by four, right up next to there, two one fours. This is looking familiar, but there's definitely going to be a variant soon. Do the weird claws, stack the four by ones, place, claws in. Yeah, this is looking familiar. I wonder what the variation is. Boats. Ah, starting on the variations. I need using two only black L pieces. Two golds, two blacks. Buttons go in the similar place as before. Then we have oh, is that okay? I guess I just put that on the side now because it's starting me on a newer piece. Okay. Sure. Uh I'm gonna take a whistle. You and from the looks of it, it goes like that. Cool. And then flip over to the side for step 44. Pair the whistle. Oh, this gets interesting. And then you take two of these joint posts and one of the flat curvy bit. Flat curvy bit goes here. Fit a joint and each whistle. Good. And then 
last two whistles match up but with close out there. Different color, different these whistles. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, those are negatives instead of the positives. Oops. Whew, that would have been a thing. Okay, that's step 46. 47, a build. Our one, lonely, one, one with all with side post thingies. One column kind of thing. And, oh, the tape. Oh, I think. Um, and that is the tape deck piece. Okay. Taking this, putting on the one. The tape deck there. Oh, that. There I get it accurate to the sticker. And then flip reverse. Put it there. Okay. I think that is supposed to be the camera. Right. Uh, and then <laughs> watch yelling me to stand. Uh then okay, then it's supposed to just go ah okay. all right, small boat attach there, okay, that's a thing there, and then one two toothy claw, and two of the interesting great pieces. So toothy claw goes where you think it goes. Same as pieces. Okay, the camera in the quadrant, the camera in this quadrant for filmed Armstrong as he climbed down the ladder and places foot on the moon. Ah, the very specific this popped out to film him going down the stairs, unmanned. Uh, unmanned camera because something went down. All right, and then with that, I need one lone long flat piece. That looks like it's the taller four to two flat piece. Got to fit in match which with the four two. All right. Okay. Flat piece supports the front there. Flat piece, yeah, that's the right fit there. And then supports all of those. And then two of the smaller black pieces. One over reaches. Okay, then this does extend out. Okay. That's step 51. Step 52. The stuns. In the place you know. Okay. Then you're going to be using to the white bricks. Sure I'm getting the position correct. Do that. Flush. Bring back the main piece and make sure I have the arrangement right. Do. Goes. There, ready to flip out camera. Okay, that's step 54. 
Now it's this fourth quadrant. Even though that was four, you know what I mean. Fourth one we go. Uh, four by two, two of them. And stack. Familiar? Last of the rectangle. Boom. One by four gray. Same place as it ever was. Two, step 58. Two, four, one, stacked together and placed. And the last two claws. Place that's familiar by now. The last bit of the boats. Uh, the last four, one, inside the boat. That whole button thing again. See some spare pieces. Uh, there, at step 61. Oop, push to the side. Take <laughs> step 62. Establish the one piece. Step 63. Two whistles. This time, we are centered up. Now we're centered up this time. No, okay. Uh, and then six by two, where is the top of the U? On top of that, two of these flat pieces. Uh, flip around, and we need two joints, the other curvy flat bit. Do the curvy flat bit first. Other way. There we go. Satisfying click. Uh, the Joints go in where obvious. Click. Click. Water break. All right. Then ray whistles go like that. Yep. And they get introduced to the small boat. That. The two one of the claw side claw. Straight pieces. Go exactly where you think they go. Step sixty nine. All right, step 70 is two of the flats and the last six one or six two. Two supports all that front. Flats support there. Okay. Getting into a decal on this next step on 71. So I will need one, two, one. One, four, I'm oh, sorry, one, two, two, and bench. Okay, this requires sticker number five placed on the flat piece. Sticker number five is a, <laughs> it's a great, but, you know, great thing, but it's funny because I think it it's inspired by the design of the new Mac Pro, that sort of like circular hole uh, pattern. But since this is a stick piece, I have to break up. Do I want to? Yeah, let me assemble first. Okay. Mm. So, assemble is this. It's the 
bench on one side and the flat on the other. Yeah, I have a nice little handle to clean off the Lego piece. Uh, if you weren't here earlier, I when it's when I'm about to put on a sticker, uh, I make sure I clean off the piece just to just to be sure. There's only one go at it. All right, sticker five, and I think I got it in the correct orientation. There we go. I'm gonna give a nice little stamp. Make sure it's in. I know, really hard to see. Yeah, that's there. Right, it doesn't really even click in, it just goes in there. Weird. Yeah, there's not doesn't that's just storage compartment, I guess. Or no, oh, that may, may have done it. All right, the laser reflector in qu quadrant two was placed on the surface of the moon. Laser light is pointed at it from Earth. The distance of the moon can match. Oh, okay, yeah. Mirror and just totally wedged it in. That's great. I can. One of those. It's a toy compartment. All right. Uh, with that part done. Yep. Close. Step 72 is closed. Oh, and put in these two flat pieces. Up. Last two pistons. Click. Click. Okay. That all in there. Uh, flip, keep this on top. White, two wind holes with a spoke hole. Yeah, I wonder where this goes. There. That. It's in there. Okay. That's step 74. 75 puts it in. Oh, it's decal time. Plenty of decal. All right. So with the camera on there, put in three stickers worth. Oh, I don't like how that looks. Oh, no. Oh, no. I messed up slightly. I, yeah. Hmm. Well, that's not great. So I'm comparing them to you. This shapened. This needs to be turned 90 degrees in order for everything else to. Oh. Oh boy. What did I do? What, what did I do?
Huh. Yeah, I mean, I'm... Yeah, I this got... I messed this up. Well, extra bonus time. Me unscrewing this. Uh... Yeah, I gotta do that whole thing again. Mark. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, that's that, that, yep, that and that. I did wrong, just turned that the wrong direction. That's sealed. And these closed down there. That's that's where it went wrong. Now those go back in there and hunky dory. Well, I'm just gonna double back every time I realize I do a screw up, and I think that's gonna happen at least one more time. That said, um Time for more washing. Oh, that's... No, that's the spare piece. Not done with the entire build yet. There's a few other pieces lingering on, even after stickering. Okay. First, the United States sticker 14. It's not a full bleed on the emblem, but towards the bottom. There it is. There we go. And that's sticker 14. Then eight and nine. Eight and nine. Okay, two nines, one eight. Eight goes below, black on the bottom. Full foil on. This is supposed to be a complete unit, theoretically, between bottom pieces. Eight as much as I can on top of that. Okay. And nine. Here's up at the gold bottom. Look at that. A little bit off, but I'll live. That is the stickering. With that side. Right, step 77. Yeah, this is, they use this as a guide. Oh, yeah, I screwed this one up too. Yeah, I was just not paying attention that way. That's there. 
These gray pieces go in here. Must be like this. This. The view is off to the side like that. Run by that piece. That piece. Okay, much better. Um, and then this cap. Two and see. There. Okay, much better. Much better. That has no stickers, thank goodness. Now to cry again that I screwed this one up. I was just not paying attention to where the U piece was in that. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, what did I do here? Yeah, I kind of do this whole thing, I think. I could have sworn I did this correctly, though. Uh, wait a minute. Where am I? No, that's the last piece. Yep. I done muffed this up. Oh. Two. Is there in there? There. But. I am that piece here. It goes opposite of there. It's so weird. And then, okay, this is da da da. Oh, oh, no, I was correct here. This is the piece that gets the stickers. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Ah, washy wash. Okay. With that, figure 12, black towards the top, covers the whole space, and I think I'm going to left edge. And there we go. Looking good. And then sticker seven. Bottom flat piece. Then and sticker nine goes on the top. Take the other sticker.
And that's the top. That is how that side looks. If I can just get it in focus. <laughs> yeah, we can get that just. All right. Um, and then four, two by four, and I believe this will be the last of part two, and they balance out support all of these pieces here. That, that is the end of Act 2. Yep. All right, so here we go. We got four, <laughs> four speakers. Uh, the four speakers here got stickers. I know it's not, you know, if you didn't already know as building a lunar lander, you may not quite see it as a lunar lander yet. That's fine. But yeah, that's that set. Now, I've been at this for about, I don't know, three hours. I think that's what the counter says. I don't know. Lots of time. I'm going to hop, uh, turn off the stream for a bit. I'll probably be back on later tonight, though. Uh, but definitely need a break. So, uh, I don't have a catchphrase yet, but uh, take care, be safe, know that you're loved. All right. That I awkwardly reached to my keyboard, put in the outro. So, take care, everyone, be safe. See you later.